Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Holly here. Um, I just got done uh, taking my, my Chloe. I just got done taking my four-year-old to the doctor. Um, she's been complaining about her private hurting, and I thought maybe she had a bladder infection. So we decided, I decided to take her in and keep her home from school today and see if um, that was what was going on. They did a culture and everything came back negative. So they're going to go ahead and send it in to the hospital and see if it grows anything. Um, but um, so far, so good. Um, yeah, so now we are going to go get the kids something to eat and head back to the house and um, maybe go to Ashland and um, see Cameron for a little bit. Um, he's working in Ashland today and um, he told me I could come out if I wanted to just to hang out and um, Hi. the Hi, kids Bria. could see the house and there's just a couple things I could help them with with the kids there so we, um, we might be doing that um, but other than that today Mommy. has been going good so far Mommy. what honey Haley's asleep Haley's asleep mm -hmm. okay that's good Haley needs her nap so, other than that, things have been going good. Um, yeah. So, I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so we are back home from the doctors and getting lunch for the kids. Um, Chloe fell asleep right after she ate. Um, Haley is sitting on my lap trying to take a roll of toilet paper apart. Um, every time I take it from her, she just screams and I don't want her to wake Chloe up. So, I don't know if we're going to make it to action or not. It's already uh, 4 o'clock. I got to go to the store and grab something for dinner. Um, yeah. I'm tired. I'm ready for a nap, but that's not an option for me when I have the two kids. And if they were both sleeping, I probably would lay down and take a nap, but they aren't. And they both won't sleep at the same time, I'm sure. That's just how it goes for me. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, I need to start looking for places to move to. We have to move, most likely. Um, I don't know if I've said this in a previous vlog or not, but our house went, or it's actually Cameron's mom's house, went into foreclosure, and, um, and uh, the bank sold the house, and another bank bought it. And they give us the opportunity to rent it or buy it, but they bought it for 195000 and it's only worth uh, 135 or something like that. And we were thinking about doing it if they would give us a loan on top of it, like if they would give us um, a modified loan that we could um, remodel and do some things because there's some things that need done. Um, we've lived here for a little bit over four years and um, we fixed things along the way like we've replaced the water here and there's just some stuff that we've done but there's a lot of stuff that needs done to it and um, we don't know if we want to buy it. Um, it depends what they're going to be targeting a month on whether or not we decide to buy it or not. But I just get this feeling that we're going to be, we're not going to like the price they're wanting. And so we're going to um, probably be moving. So I'm 
I'm excited about moving, but I'm stressed out about moving. Um, I'm excited to possibly be moving to a new house because I would love a smaller house. Uh, this house is too big for us. Um, but I don't know. It's just a lot going on right now, and um, my anxiety has been through the roof. Um, I have been depressed again. Uh, that's why I haven't posted a vlog for um, almost a week now, because I have just been so depressed that I didn't feel like doing it. Um, but I thought maybe that it would help me feel better, and, um, I don't know. There's just so much to do, and so little energy to do it. Um, the depression makes me, um, super tired. Um, if you've ever gone through, um, I have bipolar depression. Um, so, if you have ever gone through that, you know, and I have anxiety, um, so, um, if you ever gone through that, you know what I mean, we know what I'm talking about, um, it just drains every last bit of energy out of you, and it sucks, it really, really sucks, <clears throat> but I'll get through this, uh, Trying to stay positive on it and not to wake up in a bad mood and um, take it out on my um, fiance or anything like that um, because before I would just get mad at his little things and I've been trying not to do that even though I have been depressed. I don't think he realizes how depressed I have been because I've been hiding it. Um, because I don't want any, you know, I don't want, I don't know, I just don't want things to go back to the way they were before I got on my medication. And what all, I think part of what's been contributing to, to that is I, um, I'm having a hard time remembering to take my medication like I haven't taken it yet today. And now I don't know if it's too late for me to take it or not. Um, so I'm debating on whether I should just take it or if I should wait until um, tomorrow. And I don't think I took it yesterday. So I've been missing my medication a lot, which I just have to do with it. Oh, no tape. Let's not play with tape. Please. So, yeah. Um, and then the baby is at an age where she's just getting into everything. Come on, don't get on the doggy. Um, she's just getting into everything, and and Cam keeps telling me it's gonna get easier when he, she's Chloe's age, but that's a long ways away. She's not even two yet. She's fifteen months. No, we're not playing with the tape. Yeah, no. So, yeah. Um, I am going to um, go ahead and stop here for now. And I will, this will either be the end of the vlog or maybe I'll vlog more later. I'm not sure. But we will see if there's anything um, that I do that is even worth vlogging. Um, yeah, so, um, if any of you guys have ever, um, struggled with depression or depression, which is a different form of depression, um, comment down below. I'd love to hear your guys' stories. Um, and, yeah, um, I hope everybody's having a good day. I hope everybody's day is going better than mine is. Um, I will talk to you later.